Let's go to the Reserve Bank's ninth consecutive rate rise today. will almost immediately be passed on to home borrowers around the country who now face bigger mortgage costs compared with a year ago. And as the volume of housing sales slows, pressure's now on the banks to maintain their new mortgage volumes, seeing some pay thousands of dollars to retain their customers. Sally Tindall is the Research Director at the Interest Rate Monitoring Company, Rate City, who joins me now. Sally, it's always great to chat to you on these days. So just, you know, bust it down as you normally do for us as to how much it is now going to cost a new mortgage customer or mortgage customer for this latest rate rise. Oh, look, it's getting into pretty big numbers now, Ross. Uh, someone with a $500,000 loan at the start of the hikes, they're looking at a $76 incre dollar increase in their monthly repayments today as a result of this quarter of a percent hike. But of course, we've had eight before it. In nine in total, they're looking at a total increase of $908 every single month on their mortgage. With the RBA saying in their statement today, there are more to come. Million dollar loan, more, you know, even more debt. Uh, that's a total of $1,816 that that person has to pay every single month on their mortgage. It's crazy. This could be the rate hike that breaks some families. We are already sign, seeing signs of uh, duress in things like the retail trade figures that went down from November to December by 3.9%. So it's significant because when you start to really just multiply that by 12 and realise it's somewhere between $11,000 or so for somebody with a $750,000 mortgage, and then you go up to a million dollar loan and it's, you know, getting out towards $15,000, you know, you realise that's after tax money coming out of people's pay and the banks don't really give you too much wriggle room to negotiate it. Oh, they really don't. I do think that you can pick up the phone and haggle with them and ask them for a rate cut. They are in the mood for handing out rate cuts if they think you're a flight risk. So pretend at least, at the very least, that you're going to refinance somewhere else. But if you want to see the biggest savings, if you want to inject the biggest amount of relief into your budget, you're typically going to have to refinance. If someone, the average owner occupier is on a rate of 6.11% today, if they move down to what we think will be a competitive rate after these hikes come through at 4.75%, they could save over $12,000 in the space of two years that's even including switch costs. So there are, you know, real practical ways that people can handle these rate hikes, but it will require you to be proactive, not complacent. OK, so that's the big thing, because now we're seeing reports that some banks are prepared to actually give even existing uh, customers, as they're coming off fixed rate mortgages, thousands of dollars not to move somewhere else. Is How real oh, is it's that? It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, it's it's 100% true. You should try your hand at it. Uh, you're coming off a fixed rate and you're negotiating with your current lender. Ask them to see if they can, you know, match a cashback offer you might have from a different lender. We've got 33 lenders on our database currently offering cashback deals. They're typically for refinances. Why? Because they're steady borrowers. They've, you know, got a decent amount of equity up their sleeve. So that's ideal for the bank. You're also seeing, you know, offers of frequent flyer points and uh, lenders mortgage insurance waivers and things like that. They've got pulling out all the marketing tricks at the moment to get your eyeballs and ideally get your home loan. And very quickly, Sally, I haven't got much time. Two more rate hikes, maybe three, most economists are saying. So there's more kind to come. Oh, they're sure. It's CBA was the one that was saying that this one will be the last. They have updated that on the back of the RBA statement today, which was very clear that there would be more to come. They're now saying, along with ANZ and Westpac, that the cash rate will get to 3.85% by May of this year. Deutsche Bank, they're out there uh, on a limb, 4.1%. That's yes. all rate hikes in total. But, yes. you know, you can't rule that out these you days. You can't.